Hello viewers, welcome to this channel and also welcome to this video lesson. In this lesson, we shall be creating a package and then we um, we invoke the package in our normal functional VHDL file. So, in our previous lesson, we were able to create our custom library and we said that the library is a container that harbors VHDL modules. So now, we are going to create a package in which we have put inside our VH, um, VHDL library. So, this is the package we are going to be using that is the MOX package and if you look at this package it contains a library that is our standard library which is IEEE library and it has an entity section and an architecture section but this is not how a typical VHDL package looks like. A typical VHDL package <coughs> contains a library section, a, a package, a package declaration section, and a package body. So what do we do to this file? We are going to modify it. Now we start we're going to change this entity to package and remove this port and say end mouse package. So with this, we have created the package declaration section of this VHDL package file. Then we go over to the body. Here, we are going to change this to package body. Okay, then we remove this begin and we say end mugs package. <coughs> okay. So, three sections, the library, the package declaration section, and the package body section. So, this is the typical structure of a VHDL package. So, now let's start declaring some some attributes okay because a package a vhdl package is actually a file that contains declarations and in some cases definitions and implementations which you intend to use a number of times over the scope of your project so instead of declaring it over and over in the subsequent modules, you just declare all of them in a package and then call them up in your modules in order to reduce the labor of creating those declarations over and over. So let's um, try to um, declare some attributes for instance constant let's say constant and call it my first one okay give it a type as integer and of course give it a value which is going to remain constant okay by so doing you have created a constant you have declared a constant so this constant, you can use it over the scope of your project 
without declaring it again. Let's create another element, say a type, and let's call it my type one. Let's make it a record. Okay. And how do you close a record? You say end record my type one. So by so doing, you have created the structure of a record. Okay, now let's start declaring the elements of the record. Let's say read and give it a type standard logic vector. Let's say two down to zero. Okay. So we can also say write standard logic. Okay. Something like that you can declare as many elements as possible there. Okay, let's declare another another attribute. Let's say subtype. Subtype call it my sub one is standard logic vector. Okay, maybe three down to zero. So this is how to declare a subtype. And you may even wish to declare a component. Let's say my comp one is oh no, it's a mistake here. Okay, let's close the component by typing end component my comp one. So this is how to structure a component. And then you can declare your part inside by saying part. All right. Inside your part, you can declare some parts like M. Maybe M is an input. Input and uh, standard of type standard logic. All right. And maybe n n is an output of type standard logic okay and so you can end it with a semicolon and that is your component declaration in the package. You can as well decide to declare a function, let's say function and call it my func one. And let's give it some parameters, input parameters, IP. And make it standard logic vector. So it is of type standard logic vector. Um, three down, down to zero. Let's give it another parameter. Select uh, standard logic vector one 
one down to zero. Okay. <clears throat> All right. So to complete the declaration, you, you give it a return type. Let's say that the return type is standard logic semicolon. All right, so this is how to declare a function in VHDL. And um, I'm going, we are going to be using this function because like I said in my previous video, I would like to um, create a multiplexer. So this is a function that is going to implement a multiplexer. Okay. Right. Now, just before I end the video, you can see that this function has an error message. It says error sub program my func does not have a body. The function has only a declaration but no body. And in VHDL, your function must have a body for the error to be cleared. But we're not going to give it the body in this video. We're going to give it in the next video because I would like to end this video at this point so that it doesn't get too long. So what we have just done is to show us how to declare the elements of a package. Okay. In the next video, we are going to see how to complete the function. And then subsequently, we see how to invoke the package and make use of the attributes of the pack of the package in other models. So thank you very much for watching this video and thank you also for visiting our channel. If you are pleased by what we do here, please consider subscribing and consider sharing our video as well. Also give our video a thumbs up and by so doing you encourage us to do more. Thank you very much and See you later. Bye.